Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with Quick Hits. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. And we have some good news for you today. Dude Reagan from Cincinnati, Ohio, is uh, one one away from winning a gold medal. Uh, Keyshawn Davis is guaranteed a uh, medal. A bronze medal. Um, so great news there. Both guys look spectacular. Uh, but I want to spend most of the time on Duke Reagan because he is now one step further. And he's uh, one fight away from getting that uh, gold medal, which a U.S. fighter hasn't gotten since uh, 2004. Andre Ward, of course. Um, but Reagan's doing it all. Um, he's outboxing his opponents, and then when the judges don't like that, he goes in and gets more aggressive. He's nailing his opponents with right hands. He's following up with hooks. He's landing good, clean shots. I mean, beautiful shots. Um, he, he's fighting really, really well. Really, really well. Um, right now, I, I would say uh, he should be favored to beat whoever he does fight and are fighting. Uh, we'll find out a little later today who he fights in the gold medal round. Uh, but this is good news for, for, for USA Boxing because, uh, uh, to me, it represents, you know, Ricardo Torres. Um, I will have a chance to win a gold. He'll, he will release the bronze. Keyshawn will win at least the bronze. And, and now um, Reagan will win at least the silver, but he's going to win a gold. Um, he's going to be tough to beat. He's getting better, and but he almost lost his first round fight to the French guy, um, and then now he's coming back. He's just a, a hard guy to beat. Uh, like I said, he can he can fight aggressively and win there, um, or he can uh, outbox you. And, and it, it's been a trend throughout the Olympics um, that whoever is the aggressor is winning the rounds. If you're off the front foot, you win. Um, and, and Duke Reagan is in the quarterfinal round. Uh, where he outboxed the opponent badly off the back foot in the first round. They didn't score for him, so they had to get aggressive and win the last two rounds off the front foot, and they gave him a 3-2 decision. But these 3-2 decisions, I mean, I, I thought him – I thought he won all three rounds clearly. And uh, Keyshawn Davis, maybe he lost the first. The first was a toss-up. And then he clearly won the second and the third, and he needed the third big. And Keyshawn Davis stepped up, got a standing eight count on his opponent. Uh, you know, Keyshawn Davis – is the boxer of the Olympics right now. Keyshawn Davis looks spectacular, looks sensational. Uh, Keyshawn Davis is doing all the right things out there. Um, I mean, he really, really looks good. Um, he's going to have to go through Andy Cruz at some point, you would think, uh, the Cuban. Um, Reagan seems to have the cleaner, clearer path. Uh, but both these guys have an exceptional chance, a real chance to win a gold medal and end this drought, the 17-year drought. Three Olympics in a row, 8, 12, 16, no gold medals. Um, I think Duke's going to get it. I think, um, you know, um, Duke is fighting clean. I mean, he's fighting clean, good, clean fights. He's outboxing his opponents throughout, you know, the nine minutes. He's landing the better shots. He's landing the cleaner shots. He's on his feet. He's moving. Uh, Duke looks really, really good. Um, now, I think Keyshawn Davis has the bigger upside as a pro. He's got some power, too. He is, I mean, hammering these guys with right hands. Um, so I'm excited to see, you know, both guys as they progress. Um, you know, five more wins from these U.S. fighters, and we have three gold medals. And then obviously we have Osha Jones um, and the women's. This is good. USA Boxing, I believe, is back. We just need to get one go. One of these guys needs to get a gold medal. One of them needs to get a gold medal. Um, I don't really care who it is. Uh, I think Duke's going to get it, and I think um, Keyshawn Davis has a really, really good shot too. Uh, but both guys look spectacular. Um, Keyshawn Davis 
is a little bit too much off the back. But I think he needs to get more aggressive because I think he's got the power where he can get people out. Like, I know that doesn't happen often in the Olympics, but every, whenever he steps on the gas, he stepped on the gas in the second round um, against the Frenchman, knocked him out. And then you know, again, he got standing eight count and then let, 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 let off the gas a little bit. Um, so I would just say stay aggressive, stay on point, um, and keep coming forward. He loves the counter. He loves that counter right hand. Um, and it's money. But I think if he got a little more aggressive, he can land it. The power is in it. I, I, I think he can stop people. I really do. Um, but this is exciting times right now for USA Boxing. Uh, I, if, if, if both these guys will see how Torres does, if, if, if we get two gold medals here, USA Boxing is all the way back. Um, but they still got their work cut out for him. Duke Reagan looks sensational. Let's let's root for Duke Reagan. Let's see how that goes. Um, it's going to be our best Olympics in a long, long time. Um, so I'm glad these guys were able to fight. And then obviously they have sensational professional careers uh, ahead of themselves too. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, did you think Reagan looked as sensational as, as I did? Do you think um, Keyshawn Davis should be? Should he continue to win, be the uh, boxer of the Olympics, the most outstanding boxer in the Olympics? It's, I really I really believe that. Um, and then Torres, too. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Uh, please subscribe to our other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene, which is completely dedicated to Texas boxing. Got some exciting news coming up there. Going to be adding some new content on that shortly. Um, but please subscribe to that channel as well uh, from Texas. Um, again, oh yeah, all proceeds from Texas Boxing Team go to Autism Research and Recovery, so it's near and dear to our heart. Help us get that monetized and up and running as quickly as possible. Um, it is August 2nd, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still at the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.